Welcome to the cottages at Pine Lake here in northern Alabama, just outside Huntsville, Alabama, and actually technically it's Woodville, Alabama. And today I want to share with you for the first time on video, we are proud to announce our first three tiny home residents, not only with their homes on site, but they're actually living here physically connected to sewer, water, and power. They got the lights on, the sinks are flushing, the toilets are going down, and uh, they've got their stairs, and they are set. They are living here. Mary has been on the property now for about two weeks. And you've got Beth and Mary Ellen, who are also on the property here for about a week. So we got three residents now living here full time, loving it here. And uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you just a quick couple of the highlights of what's going on. But before I do that, I want to announce some specials at the very end of this video. So be sure to, to watch the entire thing to kind of find out some of the unique specials that are coming so that you too can join us here at the Cottage of Pine Lake and be a resident and enjoy all the great amenities. So behind me, you've got, this is phase one. In the forest, as you can see, these beautiful trees. We've got some pine trees, a few deciduous, but mostly pine trees. They're mature. 75 to 100 feet tall. You got some cedars in there as well. You can just kind of see this beautiful foliage. And then you got these tiny houses just tucked in between these trees here on the northeast corner of the property. So uh, I'll take you, we'll do a quick little walk over. But uh, really, this video, I want to just kind of introduce you and let you know that we are open for business. Um, well, basically, right now, we are waiting on the other three homes for the, this part of the uh, property to come through. We're just waiting for them, for these homes to be completed by Incredible Tiny Homes. We've got two in Credit Cottages and one more RJO. 24 footer coming through here as well. So uh, we're very excited to have those new residents come join us here as well. And we're also working on phase two infrastructure, getting all that complete and getting all that put in place. Where are you, you might be asking. I am here, the cottage of Pine Lake still. And here in the background is a bull, a young bull next door. The, uh, the neighbor's got some cows that he has eight heifers. Now he's got a bull, he kind of rotates them in and out and uh, just real fun property here. You've got the beautiful scenery in the background as well. And this curious cow, or bull I should say, who likes to come over and see what's going on. Real friendly, I think he's looking for food. But, uh, so anyway, you get to it. Take a look at this bull here. I'll do some updates with the bull in the background, give you some nice scenery here on the north end of the property. So let's talk about some updates with the property. Uh, first of all, we've got the three residents here living on site. They've got their water, power, sewer all connected. Uh, they got stairs to each of them. In fact, Mary's already got her own deck going uh, that she's in the process of building. It's halfway done. As you'll see in another video here, we talk about extensively kind of her design and her plans and what she has going on there with the whole tiny home tour that's coming up. Um, but in the meantime, like I said, we've got those utilities all connected and the dumpster was delivered last week. So we've got a four yard dumpster on site. So you can actually have your trash, you know, you just take a short little walk, throw your, your trash here on site and it gets removed for you every single week. You don't have to haul it off anywhere. It's just right here on site. Um, we've also got internet coming next week. You're going to have one gigabyte fiber internet service, Wi-Fi, across the entire seven acres here on this property. So wherever you're at, whatever device you've got, you'll be able to connect to the internet, connect to the internet uh, quickly and be able to have good download speeds and upload speeds if you want to share videos or if you want to watch stream, stream movies, work from home, whatever you want to do, you'll have the internet to be able to do that. Uh, that's going to be next week. Like I said, that's, what I'm, that's the update we have from the internet company about when that will be installed here. Um, we've also put down uh, some new uh, crusher run gravel onto the driveway. So you've got basically from this parking lot here where the tiny homes are, all these little circular drive around. We've got gravel, gravel base all the way along that and it's been packed down and crushed and it's, it's in real good shape. Uh, so you're not going to get muddy tires or you're splashing mud everywhere in your car. Just a real good gravel base. Like I say, it, it, it's from the home all the way down to the very front of the property to the highway. So we've got that all graveled in right now. We we're planning on doing that later, but it was just we had a lot of rain and it got too muddy, too muddy. So we just decided to go ahead and we brought in several loads of gravel to uh, get that taken care of. So that again, people have, you know, a nice drive all the way to the front of the property and back, even though we're still doing a lot of construction here. So we'll probably have to update that over time and add more gravel, but at least for the meantime, it's a nice road. One other thing that we were now adding to the property, which I thought was a great suggestion, especially with Memorial Day coming up, is we're gonna have a flagpole coming. Flagpole with, an, with the US American flag that we're gonna be putting on the very front of the property. I think that's a, you know, a real great idea. Uh, that one of the residents, Beth, had. We're going to take, we're going to act on that and try and get that in place, hopefully before Memorial Day weekend, so we can have that up and that uh, proud flag flying uh, to again uh, represent, you know, again our, our our motto is go tiny, be free, and uh, you know this country, you know, uh, was uh, founded on freedom, and that's what we're really proud to uh, facilitate here with the tiny home movement is to basically help people be able to actually achieve freedom, and by having your own tiny home, mortgage free, you know, you are free, and you're able to take that home with you wherever you want to go. Um, we hope, of course, you stay here for as long as you want to, but uh, it is your home, so you're, you're able to move it and, and, and carry on and to a different adventure whenever it is that you that you like. So um, we're all about going tiny and being free, and I think having that U.S. flag at the very front of the property would be a great way to really embrace our kind of our heritage, our history, 
and uh, represent, you know, kind of what it is that we're all about here and really showcase to, to anybody who's coming to the property, you know, that we're about freedom. And I think that's what a lot of people see when they see that, that American flag flying, especially on holidays like Memorial Day, uh, for all those people who sacrificed their lives uh, for, for us to have our freedom. Also, one of the other updates I want to give you is we do have a functioning automatic gate. Check it out. Automatic opener. Cottage of Pine Lake. Welcome home. So you'll be able to use a clicker, uh, or, or rather punch in your, your key code, and the gate will open for you automatically. And as you're exiting, you push a button, and the gate will open for you automatically. So it keeps the property nice and secure. So uh, that gate is now functioning. They were locked previously, but obviously we have residents living here now. So that gate is now an automatic gate. And it will automatically open for you so you can kind of get out, and it will close automatically after so much you know, period of time. So to keep the property kind of closed up so that it's very nice and secure. And over time, once we get more residents in here as well, we'll be putting in a brand new gate uh, on the southeast corner. We'll keep that one in place. And it'll be open during the day for uh, you know the public to kind of come in and go to the Airbnbs um, or to kind of access the public part of the property, which is the very front. But in order to get to the back side of the property, you have to go through the new private gate uh, that'll be only for long-term residents. So they'll have a separate key code to get in through there. And then, like I said, the front gate will be open during the day. And at night, you just use the, the same code to get into the, to the back part. And then the people in the Airbnbs will have a different code that only is good for that front gate when it's closed during the evening hours. Again, just an additional layer of security we're going to have security cameras in here in all the private, the, the public areas. We're going to have security lighting, all those kinds of things. Um, just again, just to provide you that, that additional safety at night and security that, so you can sleep a little more soundly at night. You know, just simple things that we can do to, to make your stay and make your, your life here uh, that much more enjoyable. Okay, now you've made it through this video so far. You've seen some of the highlights and some of the videos, some of the things that we've been working on here that's got us to this point so far. And there's a whole lot more video footage I still have to show you. But I want to talk to you about the specials that are going on right now. First of all, before I go on to the, to the tiny home specials, I want to let you know we have two Phase 1 lots still available. There's a Phase 1B for four lots, and we've got two of those sold, and there's actually still two tiny home lots left available. They were being reserved for two people, but uh, that's kind of fallen through. We were holding on to those for those two people, but it's not going to go through. So that I can now let you people know that they are available, and for limited time only, they're still available at $10,000. So they're already discounted at $10,000 because that phase one is kind of like the early bird special. And um, people didn't realize they had these two lots available. And we've been so busy kind of working on the property, haven't really announced it. So I'm announcing here for the first time, let people know we do have two phase one lots in the forest that are going to be available. They will accommodate the Birmingham, which I'm going to talk to you about that here in a minute, or any smaller home. So up to 34 feet wide, uh, or so up to 34 feet long, 10 feet wide, we can fit one of those in there. You could also do an credit cottage with an out of cottage in that section. It's a little bit more space in that section of 1B, but the lots are still only $10,000 for a limited time. That price will go up here soon. So if that is something of interest to you, get in contact with me, support at gotinybefree.com. Again, that's support at gotinybefree.com. We first come, first serve, and you have to have your funds ready to be able to secure those lots because we're not going to hold on to it uh, because we only have two, those two left. We want to make sure that these ones are going to go. Uh, because we're working on phase two right now and we really kind of need to figure out which home is going to go into that phase one area so I, I, we need to go ahead and, and really promote this and let people know that those two phase one lots are still available uh, for as long as they are so that's a heck of a deal ten thousand dollars for each of those lots still in phase one okay so to review two phase one lots still available in the forest for ten thousand dollars key money right now three hundred dollars a month lot rent phase two we do have fifteen thousand uh, dollar lots available as well uh, $300 a month lot rent on those, and we can accommodate uh, a Birmingham in either one of those phase one lots, and we can also accommodate a Birmingham on the phase two lots. We have about five lots that will be big enough for a Birmingham on the lake. Once those five lots are gone, we won't be able to accommodate uh, anything larger than a 24 foot at home. But right now we have five lots available that will fit up to a Birmingham on the lake. Two, but both those phase one lots will also accommodate a Birmingham in the forest as well. So seven potential lots available for a home as large as a Birmingham. Let's talk about that Birmingham. You may have seen it, you may not, but right now Incredible Tiny Homes is offering a special for one of their larger Amish built homes. It's a 10 foot by 34 tiny home on wheels. Really nice layout, real nice design, great finish. Built by the Amish, like I said, up in Kentucky. 
Incredible Tiny Homes is doing a special only until the end of the month. By June 1st, the special is going to end. But right now, it's normally a $119,000 home. That's basically just under $120,000. Normally, is now going for just under $90,000. $89,900 for a 10-foot by 34-foot tiny home on wheels built by the Amish. The only caveat is it's not, it doesn't have the same finish as a normal Birmingham. That's why it's discounted. They're not going to paint it. They're not going to stain it. not going to polyurethane it. So you have to do a little bit of finish work on your own. It may take you five, ten thousand dollars to kind of finish staining it or painting it. But if you were going to change the color or kind of decorate it differently anyway, this might be better for you anyway. Or if you can do it yourself and you can save that money and just basically buy the materials, the paint and paintbrushes and all that and stain that kind of stuff. So for less than ninety thousand dollars, put it for you this way: for under a hundred thousand dollars right now, for the next two people only, you could put a Birmingham ten by thirty-four tiny home on a four slot here at the cottage of Pine Lake. $99,900 will get you there and $300 a month lot rent. That is a heck of a deal. That's hard to beat. So take advantage of this. That sale is only going on until the end of the month. And those two lots are first come first serve. So once those two lots are gone, you won't be able to do that anymore. However, you could also put that same Birmingham for $89,900 on a lake lot. That would cost you a total of $104,900. So just a little bit under $105,000, you could have a 34 foot Birmingham with a lake view out your back window $104,900. Again, a steal. Normally it would cost you $134,900. So if a Birmingham is something you're interested in and you want a nice community to kind of put it in, that's basically in the forest or bordering on the forest if you're on the lake with an incredible view, uh, you know, that's a heck of a deal if you've got $100,000 to buy a tiny house with. So uh, jump on that. Again, contact me, support at gotinybefree.com. That's support at gotinybefree.com. We can work out the details for you on that and get that lot secured and they get you that nice Birmingham. Um, that's the Birmingham. Now, now, for those of you with a smaller budget and can't afford or, or looking to buy a Birmingham with that big of a space, you want something a little bit smaller, don't forget about the American Dream Special that Incredible Tiny Homes has also got going on right now. For $25,000, you can get a 24-foot RJO. If you want the double dormers in there with the loft and all, you can add $5,000 and make it $30,000. But basically, for as little as $25,000, you can buy a 24-foot uh, tiny house on wheels, put it on a on that phase one four slot, and you're looking at $35,000 to have your own tiny house on wheels in a beautiful community like this, access to all these amenities, and $300 a month lot rent. Very, very difficult to beat that. Um, or if you wanna be on the lake, add $5,000 more, and you're talking $40,000 for a American Dream 24-foot RJO special, essentially. Um, you can have that on the lake for $40,000. Add dormers to it, $45,000 to have that extra sleeping space on top if you're good with stairs and lofts and all that. Um, you know, make that 24 foot tiny home feel even bigger uh, with that loft space up there. And you could be on the lake with a, with a loft and double dormers for $45,000. Uh, just some incredible specials right now that's going on. I don't know when that special is going to end that's going on. But again, the Birmingham special does end at the end of the month. So be sure to jump on that. And uh, like I said, we can fit up to seven right now, Birmingham's. So the next seven people who come in and buying Birmingham's, we can accommodate that. Um, otherwise, we've got those two phase one lots that will go. Um, First come, first serve. All right, well, that's all for now. This is Hans Schaff from the Cottage at Pine Lake with your May update. I'm going to have a whole bunch more videos coming to show you even more footage and all just a few little clips and highlights in here to kind of show you some of the things that have been going on in the background because I want to show you something because I know you guys have been starving for some, some good video footage. I've got a lot of drone footage coming, a lot of workers out there, you know, in, in ditches and different machines and all. It's been real exciting out here, just a lot going on. So we want to share that with you. I'm going to get better at catching up and getting all this footage out to you. So be stay tuned for that. Be sure to click like to... Uh, let people know that you like this video and got a showing for other people in the algorithm who are looking to go tiny as well. That'll help. And uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. And let me know your comments. What do you what do you think about this video? What do you think about these updates? What do you think about the phase one, uh, two lots we have available and the lake lots we've got available and the Birmingham special? How gorgeous do you think it would be to have a Birmingham on the lake? How awesome would it be to have a 24 foot RJO in a, uh, in a lot for $35,000? Great specials, great deals. If you're looking to go tiny, now's the time. Come join us, go tiny, be free. Hans Schaff, signing off from the property, Cottages at Pine Lake. See you in the next video. And just a quick personal update as well. I mentioned in a previous video about the Farm to Tableau event that we hosted back on May 10th for Rikers Rainbow, our nonprofit organization. And I just want to share with you a few video clips here and some pictures of how the event went. It was an incredible success. It was our first large event. Again, it was a sold out event six weeks prior to the day. 350 people attended and it was electric. It was incredible. 
Uh, we raised double our goal of what we were hoping to raise that day. And as a result, we are now going to be able to fund the Memorial Garden, which was at the location that I had taken that last video from. So this vision that we have for a place that anyone can come to any time of day or night to remember and grieve and just be at peace uh, in this special location, especially dedicated to their child, um, is just it's amazing, and we're just very excited. I just want to share with you, because um, I know I mentioned about that event, and it just it, it blew our socks off. It was just an incredible event, and I just want to share with you a few of the clips. I got a little bit of video footage and things that I just wanted to share, uh, you know, nothing Tiny House related here, but just since I was sharing the previous video, I want to go ahead and share a little bit more for you guys to kind of let you know how it went. And again, appreciate all your support, all your love, and all your... Uh, your understanding these last few weeks has it's been just crazy uh just so much all going on all at the same time tiny house is being delivered uh on the day of the event that we had uh, been planning for about nine months so uh but it all went with it without a hitch um everybody loved it had a great time again we raised a lot of money uh more than doubled our goal and uh just very excited for what this means for our nonprofit and going forward and uh this huge number of families we're going to be able to help now in a whole different direction. So anyway, I just want to give you a quick little update and share with you these pictures and videos from the event in case you were curious. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy. Farm to Tableau. Everyone looks absolutely amazing. The one thing that we all have in common is a little boy named Riker. Thank you for Riker, for all that his precious life is doing and all that it will continue to do. It's really moving to look out and see all of these faces here tonight to support us, to support Rikers Rainbow, and to support the families that we serve. So we thank you, the Lost Community thanks you, and um, we're so glad you're here. The Community Garden will be a place for families to go and just remember and celebrate or grieve or have different celebrations of their baby or child. So that's, that's all what this fundraiser is tonight, to raise the money so that we can start breaking ground. Thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for coming together as a community to make sure that grieving parents know that their children are always remembered. Mm -hmm.